The seating capacity is 65,000 at Ford Field, and we are right around that number today. A good crowd on hand and seemingly ready to go in the Motor City. Today, we've got a solid matchup in store in the NFC, as it'll be the Atlanta Falcons taking on the Detroit Lions. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Atlanta now coming out on the field. They're going to start to drive here on the ground with Patterson. Up past the 30, second down coming up. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. Wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. From the 31, here's second and six. Ritter down. A quick throw there is incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap. He locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. This defense looking for an early stop. This is third down and six. Looking to throw it here. Ritter. And it's complete and he is going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion so the completion there Charles looking at this defense certainly in for a tough task here this afternoon what are some of the keys for them if they want to come out on top well the first thing partner is they just allow a completion there they don't want to get a string of those going let him get his confidence let him get into the rhythm of the game the flow of the game and all of a sudden he's feeling like he can do no wrong you want to really get after his timing a little bit, knock a few balls away, and make things uncomfortable for him. Because if he feels relaxed, you are in for a tough afternoon. Here's second and 10. Back to throw, Ritter. And incomplete on the deep ball. And that might have been a situation where even though you don't hit on the deep throw, can have a ripple effect on how they function throughout. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Out of the gun, here's Ritter. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 39. 21 yards there on third down. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. First and 10, it's Patterson. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Here's the eighth overall pick from Texas. It's B. John Robinson looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. Play number nine now on this pretty long opening drive, but this is third down. Robinson will try to pick it up. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27th. They're able to convert with a gain of four. If you make the stop there, maybe you hold them to three on this opening drive. They didn't get the stop. Yeah, new set of downs now. Now you're worried about, just as you pointed out, not just giving up three, possibly giving up six. Let's see what they decide to do here because they've got to change up what they have been doing. It hasn't been working. Throw left side complete. That's Smith. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. Now I think we're going to get a timeout here. Yes, a timeout here as it looks like we've got a lion that's shaken up. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, are going to take a peek, and we'll take a break.
Here's a first and 10 at the 14 yard line. Working from the gun, Ritter. And he'll go down. Brought down at the 20 yard line. Flying in for that sack, Aiden Hutchinson. And in a flash, Aiden Hutchinson gets into the backfield and puts the quarterback on the deck. And he wasted no time embracing his role as the face of his hometown franchise as a rookie. Nine and a half sacks, a surprising three interceptions, and rookie of the year runner-up mentioned. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. A good pick up there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. We know they have these RPOs in their playbook, and look, we're seeing it here in the first quarter. You think we're going to see it as the game continues? They trotted them out early for a reason, partner. They're letting them know that this is in the arsenal, and we rely on it. You better be prepared, because this is going to be an all-day affair trying to stop them. This will be caught at about the five. And the Falcons are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Well, they kept it simple there, CD, only needing the short gain to move the chain, so they didn't want to go with a deep throw. They just go with that safer, shorter throw and able to convert. Nothing wrong with that at all, partner. Check the box, right? Make sure you pick up the first down. Offense is getting established. You're moving the ball. You're not turning it over. Check, check, check. They like what they're doing early in the game. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. It looks like they quit hitting the snooze button on their alarm there. Finally, a sign of life from this defense. They've been fairly passive on this opening drive. Now able to stand up on first and goal. And they sent that play backwards. On play action, here's Ritter. Rolling to his... And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Desmond Ritter, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Falcons will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. What an effort there. Sometimes you hold your breath a bit when you see your quarterback diving for the end zone. You don't want him to land on a shoulder wrong or take a big shot. But he looks none the worse for wear here, and that winds up a touchdown. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. And he won't quite make it to the 25. And Detroit getting set to go now. Off in this Lions offense, set for a first and 10 at their own 24. Now the former Bear, this is David Montgomery. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking. And that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in the game. Or a short pass here taken in by Laporta. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. Second and 10. 
Now Goff. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. It's pretty early in the game, but they've already tried to establish him not just as a runner, but as a receiver as well. Didn't happen there, but I wouldn't be surprised at all to see them try again shortly. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Play action. It's gone. And that will be incomplete as well. Anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try and hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter, but that time, they were up to the challenge. On fourth down, Jack Fox on to punt for Detroit. And a fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 18-yard line. They call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And it will be Falcon football. up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and it'll be second down. That was a lightning-fast decision that time. He just caught it and got rid of it. Because he saw his guy was going to be open immediately, so he took the R, the run, out of the play. He took the O, the option, out of the play, and immediately got to the pass. Second down throw coming for Ritter. Short throw to Smith. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. On first and ten, it's Robinson. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. From the 38 now, here comes second and eight. Second down and a run by Robinson. And it's a run to the over. And a strong run that time as he's across midfield and down to the 43. That good for 19 and a first down. A big hole there. How about him handling the point of attack? Just positioning himself so that, that run could go right off of his backside and deep into the secondary. Again, it's Robinson. And he's able to carve out about six there, down to the 37. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. So from the 37, here's a second down and four. Ritter to throw it. They'll get this into the hands of Hodge. A busy first quarter. His third catch of the afternoon is a first down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Off the play fake, it's Ritter. That's brought in downfield by London. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. The Falcon passing game looking good on this drive as they get the first down. Well, as a coach, you absolutely love seeing your offense find their rhythm early, and that's exactly what we've seen so far. They had a touchdown on their opening drive, and now they connect here for another nice gain for a first down. This offense is moving the ball well. Touchdown! Kyle Pitts on the receiving end from Desmond Ritter. And the Falcons lead this now 13-0 here in the opening quarter of the ball game. Another impressive drive. So they're two for two, two touchdowns. Charles, a great start to this ball game for them. And one of the words that's really worked its way into our lexicon is stacking. They've stacked momentum each time out, not only on offense. Between those touchdowns, defense held, forced a punt to get the ball back, and they played awfully well in this one. 
Both sides playing at optimum level. And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. Here comes Khalif Raymond from his end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. They've been outplayed early, no question. Down 14-0 already as they come up first and 10. Back to throw, golf. And that's to Amon Rossi Brown. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. That's good for 28 yards. Press coverage on the outside, and for defenders, that's the ultimate risk reward. If you take the risk, can you reward yourself by keeping them on the line of scrimmage? But no, not on that one. Got to step on them. Now it's just a matter of laying the ball out there for him to go get it. Finds Gibbs on the check down. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. Well, hang on now. We're going to pause here. We've got an injured player. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Here's a second and five. They'll fake the handoff. Now Goff. And that one going to be off target and incomplete. So he's three for seven throwing the football right now. Not an awful start, but also not the sharpest of starts. No, I would agree with that. But if you're a confident quarterback and to play that position, you have to be. You just act like there's something wrong with the wind currents or something wrong with the ball. <laughs> it is not you. Keep throwing. That timing usually develops. From the 50, it's Goff. Completing it here to Marvin Jones. And this will not be enough. On third and five, he only gets three. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go up and make the tackle right away. And here now the punter Fox as he sends this one away. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line, and it continues into the end zone for a touchback. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. It has been about as perfect of a start to this game as these guys could have asked for, Charles. They've scored on their first two drives. They still haven't given anything up on the other side of the ball, so they can already make this a three-score game here if they can come away with points on this drive. Yeah, they're almost pushing them to the break, aren't they, partner? Almost to the point now where it's a loss of words for me, which I know would excite all of our viewers, but you're just not supposed to see that type of dominance so quickly in a game like this. Everything they've done has been working so far. Offense, defense, you name it, it's going well for them. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Ritter will set up to throw it. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. There is no denying they want to get him involved. That's already the fifth time that they've looked his way in this first quarter. So that tells me defensively that they want to insist on going in that direction. Make sure you get your best people in the area to try and take that away. Back to the air on second down. Here's Ritter again. That's going to be caught by Pitts. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. 
A gain of 28 yards there and give him a first down. Well, that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large body tight ends and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now coaches want them to catch the football first. Second quarter now, Falcon football. As they've got it with a first and ten. Robinson up the middle. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Now that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. Ball on the 35. Here comes second and five. Robinson with another carry. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. And that's what I'd like to see out of this defense. A little fire, a little toughness. It hasn't been the best first half for them. But they did do a nice job there, forcing a loss on that play. The Falcons on third down. A perfect four for four thus far. This is third and seven. He's got his target. That's complete. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 24-yard line. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. Well, things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick a down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. 61 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first half. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. Ritter. Left sideline, a dime, and it looks like he's got it. This to Pitts, and he's got him. Touchdown, Atlanta. Kyle Pitts, a beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Falcons take a three-touchdown lead. Koo able to connect on the extra point, and that makes the score 21 to zip. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. Detroit's offense ready to take over. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores, and I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession, but I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit, and if they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. 
They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Now gone. They'll set up the screen to Montgomery. And they get him down about two yards shy of the line to gain. A third down pickup of five. The key to any screen play is all in the deception. That means everyone on the offensive side of the ball. But someone gave it up because that one wasn't very well concealed. And the defense able to rally to him and hold him for just a short gain. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. That's pulled in at the 32. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And the Falcons will be taking over first and 10. Here are the Falcons as their offense heads back onto the field. Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense, they can't seem to stop them. It's like they're on skates. Great analogy, Brandon, because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of scrimmage. They've just been laying down tracks towards the opposite end zone. So to themselves, all they're saying is, if we don't make a mistake, there's no way they can stop us. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Let's just call it what it is. This has been a flat-out struggle for this defense all game long. They've really had a hard time slowing them down. And while I'm not big on speeches and guys jumping up and down, they might need their team leader on defense to get in their face right now and light a fire under these guys. They've got to start playing better assignment football and start getting guys on the ground. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Atlanta. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. On first down, Ritter. To the sideline, and wow, what a catch there. He doesn't get a lot, but he was able to get the feet down complete. The result, only four yards there on the play, and it'll be second down. Yeah, that one was covered pretty well because they were trying to leak the tight end out into the flat. I think they were hoping he could catch and turn up field and pick up the first down. They'll work from the 36 on second and six. Looking to throw once more. Here's Ritter. Looking middle, and that's complete. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 22-yard line. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. First down. Here's Ritter. Throw left side is complete on the diving effort. A good pick up there, 21 yards. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just need the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. This offense continues to be a hot knife through butter. Three drives, three scores, and knocking on the door again on drive number four. And this will result in him losing yardage. Back to the three. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And he'll get it down close to the goal line, but not quite in. They get three yards closer, but still work to do. It's third and goal. And that was a good collision right there. And I know this as a former defender, if you're playing linebacker, you're going through a checklist on every play on who you think's going to get the ball and where you think the ball's going to go. Rarely do you expect the fullback position to get it. And on that play, he did. So you've got to steal yourself at that point. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Aiden Hutchinson. That is now two sacks for him here in this first half. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. Koo knocks this one through the post, and the route is on. It's 24 to nothing. 
So everything else has gone right in this first half. Kind of follows that it would for their kicker, too, as he adds three more onto the lead. Yeah, and the way that this one's gone, definitely not looking like he's going to have to worry too much about pressure kicks late in the game. He can go out there free and easy, just work on his form, and he knocked that one through. The punter Pinion now to kick this one away. Here's Raymond bringing it out. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. And Detroit getting set to go now. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you're you don't down. don't want to. Well, no, but you know, oh, let me finish. Okay, my bad. Yeah, you're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's that's not a good combination. I think you, just, you, called called a I think you just called a desperation time. I, I think did. you did. But yeah. let's face it, you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating to use a boxing analogy. It's been a very one-sided game so far. They got to change what they're doing right now, don't they? You can't wait till the halftime speech to make an adjustment. No, you can't because if you're doing it right, you're adjusting from series to series, and they need a big adjustment here to try and put some points on the board. And meanwhile, Goff's throw here into the hands of Jones, and he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Now, that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't gone their way, and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit, and they get one here in the passing game. Now, whistles and a flag down. Looked like one of the Lions linemen might have moved. A false start backs him up five, first and 15. On, A shotgun snap for Gong. And that's hauled in by St. Brown over the middle. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or... Better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. On second down, Montgomery. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Montgomery on the counter. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. That is caught by Laporta. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 12-yard line. A good pick up there, 26 yards. And I don't think there's any question that this offense is going to need to hit on a few more plays like this. It's been a difficult first half for them, to say the least. And I do believe if they want to get back in this game, they need to start right now. It's kind of like making adjustments. If you try and wait until the half, it's probably too late. And in for the Lions touchdown. Jared Goff to Amon Ross St. Brown. And the Lions are able to cut into that deficit. Riley Patterson now for the extra point. He's got it, and that makes our score 24 to 7. Dig down deep. 
got to be big time. Let's do it, boys. Got to show this to the Let's do this. Man, I've seen that play a couple of times. It's one play at a time, baby. Let's go. Let's get some low. Let's go do this thing, baby. Show it to the world. Let's go. Come on, baby. Rock and roll. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Now the Falcons offense, they get ready to head back out here. They have been red hot, sometimes white hot here in this first half. They're just looking to add to that total right now. And this has to serve as a reminder to myself because so many times I get wrapped up in the play calling, how they've sequenced things, how it's run. But you know, at the end of the day, it's still execution. Those guys out on the field, and right now they are locked in and really looking good. They'll try to continue to be locked in here as we get ready to approach halftime. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Now a second and ten. Ritter from the gun. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a gain of 11, and the Falcons pick up the first. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time, he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Now Ritter to throw on first down. Over the middle, caught by London. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time, and a first down. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. A Ritter's throw there taken in by Hodge. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time and another first down. Now the Falcons gonna use one of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Ritter off to play fake. Now he's loose down the middle of the field. Touchdown, Falcons! Kaderil Hodge, 34 yards. And the Falcons continue to pull away here in this first half. That score that they just gave up there, that's a tough one for their defense to swallow because they've had a tough time through the first two quarters. They really were determined to get a stop there, unable to do so. That makes their comeback hopes that much more difficult. Following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. The Lions now taking over late in this first half. I don't think they need to be reminded of the situation here. I mean, the clock is dwindling. Three-score deficit waiting for them at halftime unless they can get something on the board here before intermission. Goff on first down. Caught on the right side by Jones. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. Detroit's offense ready to take over. 
And with a three-score deficit staring him in the face, they might have to press the issue here and try to get points out of this drive. From the 31, here comes second in a yard. Goff now looks to throw. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now, just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all, and I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. Goff wants to throw on third and one. Able to find the open man, that's complete. The Lions now gonna use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Go off throwing again. And he couldn't get that one to his man. Short of him, it's low and incomplete. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. On second down, here's Goff. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. Trying to get something positive to happen here before the break, and they sure need it. They went for the big one, but it winds up incomplete. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Golf. That ball nearly intercepted, but he could not hang on. Oh, pick there certainly would have been nice. Instead, at least, it'll be fourth down. Give them credit for excellent coverage, tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we talk about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. So possession goes over here on the punt. And control of the football switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. Likely time for one final snap as they start out first and ten. And they'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. So we have reached halftime now with the visiting Falcons out on top. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! This taken in at the goal line. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. And the Lions getting set to go on offense to start the third. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball into the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant, a lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Going up the gut, Montgomery. And he'll get to the 29-yard line, brought down there. Four yards the pickup, first down. That ground game contained again there, Charles, and that's really a big reason that they're trailing right now. They give a lot of credit to that defensive front. That's exactly what they worked for all week to try and take away the run game, make them one-dimensional in the battle of game plans. Theirs has been superior. First down, they run again. Here's Montgomery to about the 33-yard line. 
Well, another modest gain there on that one. And I think, Charles, you can probably pin part of the deficit on a failure on their part to really get this ground game established. Yeah, and they've really struggled to be multidimensional in this one, haven't they, partner? Because they have to be extremely one-dimensional now if they hope to get back into this game. They'll have to do it by throwing the football and hope to have success through the air. And this will wind up a Lions first down as he'll get this up to about the 42. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quitting this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. First and 10 at the 42-yard line. So two first downs, and that moves the ball to the 42 now, first and 10. They'll go again with Gibbs, and nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. They suspected it was a power play up the middle coming at them, and boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. From the 44-yard line, here's a second and eight. They'll try the air now with Goff. This complete to Jones. It'll go down as a gain of six, and now that sets up third and two. That's a gain of six. Makes it third and two. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll run it. Here's Montgomery. That is not going to be any help as they dump him behind the line of scrimmage. Losing two yards that time, and now it's fourth down. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Here comes the Lions punter now, as he's on for the fifth time here today. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially, and the Falcons will get it first and 10 from deep in their own territory. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. Falcons first and 10 here as Ritter gets them ready at their own 11. He'll get it to Robinson to begin the drive. And not much here as he'll get it to the 11, maybe the 12-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. They work now on second and nine. Ritter with it after the play fake. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. On every offensive coordinator, every play caller sheet, they have about five or six plays per game that they call shot plays or big plays, and you don't get many opportunities to dial them up, and they just did, and they drop it with a great chance to make a big play. That's going to hurt. Ritter throwing on third down. He's got his target. That's complete. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. That's a third down conversion to 24 yards there. Nice play. Time to give some credit to the big fellows, the offensive line here, because you've got to have good protection on crossing routes because you've got to give your receiver time to work all the way across the field. That time, able to scan the field, spot his receiver moving left to right and make a good, accurate throw. Thank you, guys. Meanwhile, Ritter's throw into the hands of Pitts here. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Second down and a yard. They'll run this one right with Robinson. And a pretty good burst there as he'll get this across midfield and down to the 46. The 71 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. A good run there off right tackle in an old school NFL football. The right side of the offensive line, often known as the nasty side. The left side, usually the technical side. Kind of reminds me of the old Atlanta Falcons 2009-2010. That's how they constructed their offensive line. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. 
They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it's second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Back to Robinson now on first down. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Second down and six now from the 26. Go and play action. Ritter. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. Ritter. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he is going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. They'll get this into the hands of Hodge. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch at its second down. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Nine yards on the play there, and it'll set him up first and goal. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. On play action, here's Ritter. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action and maybe throwing it. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And they'll get him down just shy of the goal line at about the one. Call it a gain of two as they're knocking on the door now. Third and goal. They're a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves, start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. Robinson. And he is going to lose yardage here. This defense not budging back-to-back -back carries of just two yards. There have not been a lot of great moments for this defense throughout this game. Finally, they have one they can hang their hat on. A nice stop there. So on fourth down, Ritter heads to the sideline. Young Way Koo gets set for the Atlanta field goal. Koo knocks this one through the post, and that will extend their lead even further. I got to think, at this point, third quarter, if you're able to hold on to the ball, get three at the end, that's all you're looking for. I would agree with that because right now, this is a job well done by them. In fact, it's almost time for handshakes, a little dap on the sidelines, maybe even start to discuss post-game plans. And for the guys who haven't played yet, go ahead and get loose. Your time is now. The 
the punter pinion now to kick this one away. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The Lions offense set to take over. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, it's, let's just say it's been unusual. Here's a second and eight. Now Goff. And that one going to come up short, low throw. I'm getting the sense that this offense is getting frustrated. Here we are into the third quarter, and they've had plenty of opportunities to get in sync. Thus far, that hasn't happened. They're looking for answers both on the sidelines and in the huddle looking at each other. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. And you can tell just by looking at them that this offense is a frustrated unit. Things are really unraveling here. And as a head coach, time to earn your paycheck. You've got to find a way to keep it together as that brings up another fourth down. Here comes the Lions punter now as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And they will take over first and 10. Ritter and the Falcons now with a first and 10 at the 34. They start on the ground with Robinson here. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Ritter will set up to throw it. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. Here's Ritter. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll get him a new set of downs. No surprise to see a sideline fired up by that big play. Heck, we're fired up, and we're supposed to be neutral. That's a quarterback putting his body on the line to fight and just barely get the first down. When he does something like that, it gets everyone ready to lay it all out there and try and match his intensity. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. Now, meanwhile, a final play here is incomplete, and that's going to take us to the end of the third quarter of play. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. The Falcons on third down. They've been tough to stop, eight for 10 so far. They're up against a third and one situation. And a good job of finding the open space to run as he's down close to the 30 here. 
And even 100 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. As I take a look at the clock, I realize that this drive is eating up a good portion of the fourth quarter already. Got to tell you, partner, when you're trying to salt away a game, this is exactly what it's supposed to look like. Ritter now. Now throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. A CD, they're up big, but they're still passing it. I mean, this is an offense that's had a lot of success in this game, and it seems like they're just having fun out there. And it does feel like there's been a shift out there, doesn't it, partner? Listen, if you're up, you can continue to do what you want to do. It's up to the other team to make you change how you do things. They'll continue to throw it around until stopped. And they're going to get him. They bring him down to the sack back at the 16-yard line. Alex Anzalone from that outside linebacker spot gets in there. It's a loss of nine. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack. But he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football. Had to eat it and ended up on the ground. They'll try to run with Robinson. He will push his way down to about the 14. So they will decline that penalty, and that's going to force a fourth and goal. So on fourth down, Ritter heads to the sideline. Young Way Koo gets set for the Atlanta field goal. Koo knocks this one through the post, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. now to kick this one away. Here's Raymond bringing it out. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. And Detroit getting set to go now. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Troy Anderson applying the pressure and picking up the sack. But one thing I do know, these guys on defense, they don't want this game to end. They're winning by multiple touchdowns. They've shut down the opposing quarterback in a big way, and they're still picking up sacks as we approach the end of this one. Back to throw, Goff. And he drops it incomplete, and their struggles continue here. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break. And you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Montgomery. And he's going to get this to about the 20, but that is well short of what he needed. That'll bring up fourth down. They wind up getting eight yards, but they needed more than that. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? 
Desperation time for Goff on four. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. The Lions turned away on fourth down. And now possession's going to go over with a football at the 20-yard line. On first and 10, it's Robinson. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. 133 yards rushing for him now as his sensational afternoon continues. Good yardage there on first down, exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs, keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Second down throw coming for Ritter. This to Pitts and he's got him. Touchdown Atlanta. Kyle Pitts. A 14-yard touchdown. And the Falcons continue to run up the score. They lead it big here in the fourth. Coup for the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. And Detroit back in possession of the football. Charles, we know that this offense is aggressive. We saw that last drive. They went for it on fourth down, didn't get it. Then they give up the touchdown. So now you feel like they really need to respond here. They certainly do, but let's face it. Sometimes when you take that risk, you understand if you fail, a little more onus goes back on your ball club to try and pick themselves back up. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Well, I mean, look, obviously there's no 20 or 30 point play in that playbook, but they can try to end things here on a positive note despite trailing big, and that looks like what they're trying to do here by pushing the ball downfield. Well, let me go with the heavy cliche then, partner. Just control what you can control right now, and all they can control here is how their final plays develop. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and that'll make it second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means they have to run extra plays harder to move it. Goff going to get this to Gibbs, and he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. We often talk about understanding the playbook, understanding progressions, and understanding what the defense is doing. We saw all of that on that play. Great recognition and understood where his running back was going to be. Found a way to have him leak out underneath, hit him with the football, and they picked up the first down. Golf connects with St. Brown. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. Now, fourth quarter, certainly not enough time for a comeback, but nice to see them making use of the time remaining to try and make this one a little more respectable. Yeah, I think the ultimate goal, good execution, be crisp, be sharp, and find a way to put some points on the board to make this thing look just a little bit better. And he'll be stopped at the 35, but not before he picks up seven yards. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit, but get him out in the open field into some space. 
Dad plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are, you know, make him make someone miss in the open field. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. This is certainly a team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air and defensively. They were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw. The Lions on third down. Just one conversion and eight tries. Not good. Here it's third and three. Goff now looking to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. Goff's throw into the hands of Reynolds here. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. Now a second and two. To throw is gone. Jones has it. And he stopped after a gain of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. A gain of a yard. Brings up third and one. A yard all they need, but it's third down. Now it's gone. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Throwing again is gone. That's to the sideline and incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. They'll try the middle with Montgomery. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. After seeing that, maybe time to go back to some downfield throws here. Yeah, anything, change it up, because the teams that win, the best teams, they're the ones that make adjustments. Doesn't mean you can't come back to what you thought you could get done. Sometimes when you open things up a little bit, you can get back to what you wanted to do before. This will be caught just inside the 10. Touchdown! Josh Reynolds, a 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Lions get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth-quarter deficit. Well, CD, they just haven't had a whole lot to cheer about or really grasp onto in this game. They've been dominated, but at least they get a late touchdown here, something positive to put on film for tomorrow's session. Yeah, they're still trying to execute, trying to get some positives on their board and, and ledger sheet and keep this from being a total loss. Give them credit. They're going down fighting. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. Now the Falcons offense gets ready to head back onto the field. Well, we've reached... Well, we've reached the stage where it's a it's a mere formality at this point. They've got the comfortable lead. We know what the outcome is going to be. I guess the only question is, 
Do they want to put more points on the board before the final gun? Well, I certainly hope not. And I'm being selfish here because you and I have flights to catch. Let's go ahead and finish this one off, guys. <laughs> You've taken care of business. Let's close it out. And you and I, let's get to the airport. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. He'll take it past the 40 to the 41, second down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Second down and a run by Robinson. And he'll get about three here up to the 44-yard line. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. On third down, Robinson, and he'll get nothing out of that one. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL, and he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time, so make sure you get in shape. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Detroit's offense ready to take over. Well, CD, it's all window dressing at this point. I mean, the best they can do is end the game with a nice drive to maybe build some momentum to move forward into their next contest. Yeah, and with how lopsided this game has been, even one score might not do a lot of cosmetic good on the scoreboard, partner, because it's just about looking forward at this point. Get a touchdown here, give yourself some positive momentum and reps to focus on when you get back to practice in the next couple of days. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. He'll get a dozen there, and the Lions have a first down. We'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Here's gone. He's got it complete to Gibbs. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. And with this game well in hand, perhaps we are seeing the coverage lighten up a little bit as they got burned there a bit for a first down. Well, we certainly know the coach isn't happy along the sideline because he certainly wants them to finish this one out the way they started it. He doesn't want to give up any soft completions, no late points. He wants his lead to stay right where it is. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Two chunk plays in a row. The last one was over 20 yards, and so is this one. So time runs out. It's a victory for the Atlanta Falcons. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game. No turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. Well, what we saw here was offense is spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for it. Ball security is paramount. So they worked on that, not just a week of practice, but 